hello my dear students in this class let us study about microbial genetics what is microbial genetics it's nothing but it is the study of genetic information of microorganisms in the microbial genetics you will be studying like the genetic information its types how microbes transfer genetic information what are the processes involved in transferring genetic information etc along with this you will study about history and development of microbial genetics in order to cover all these things we need to have an overview of what is the genetic information and what are the characteristics of it so in this class i will give you an overview of the genetic information of bacteria so as we all know in bacteria especially prokaryote there is no defined nucleus no defined nucleus the dna the genetic information which is nothing but the dna is naked without any it is naked which means no membrane around it at the same time they don't do not have histone proteins as in the case of eukaryotes whereas instead they have histone like proteins such as hu hns proteins <clears throat> they play a role of what histone protein plays in eukaryotes majority of uh, dna are negatively charged with super coiled and <clears throat> almost all are circular dna in bacteria and along with this in dna there are less repetitive genes or repetitive sequence as in comparison with the eukaryote you have less repetitive sequences there are no pseudo genes present in the prokaryotes and you can find transposons transposons what are transposons they are also called as jumping genes they keep changing their position from one place to another so they are also called as jumping genes introns are mostly absent in majority of bacteria the same way <coughs> non coding sequence are in less 
आर इन लेस प्रपोर्शन यू कैन फाइंड यू कैन ऑल्सो फाइंड पॉली सिस्ट्रोनिक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन यूनिट सो वॉट इज पॉली सिस्ट्रोनिक ट्रांसक्रिप्शन यूनिट एग्जाम्पल लैक ऑफ एरोन कॉन्सेप्ट विच विल बी स्टडिंग इन कमिंग क्लासेस वेर इन यू हैव वन प्रोमोटर जीन प्रोमोटर साइट एंड वन terminating site and between these you have multiple genes which codes for different proteins so this is called as polycystonic transcription also almost all bacteria have single chromosome except in the case of vibrio cholerae also the bacteria have high gene density they have high gene density along with this along with the dna bacteria also have a specialized genetic information which are termed as plasmids what are plasmids plasmids are self replicating bodies in bacteria you can along with you know you can have a other genetic information in the form of plasmid the plasmid might vary in number depending upon the species depending upon the condition there might be more than 10 plasmids more than 10 plasmids if it is more than 10 plasmids then it is called as high copy number plasmids if the number is less than 10 then it is called as low copy low copy number plasmids if it's more than 10 high copy number plasmid if more than less than 10 then low copy number plasmid if the plasmids in the bacterial cell are same then such plas plasmids are called as are called as homogenetic plasmids if the plasmids are different types then such plasmids are called as heterogenetic plasmids so these are some of the characteristics of plasmids along with this what are the roles played or functions of plasmids 
फॉर एग्जाम्पल दे डू नॉट पार्टिसिपेट इन ग्रोथ एंड मल्टीप्लीकेशन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म वेर एज दे प्रोवाइड एन एक्स्ट्रा एडवांटेजेस टू कैरी आउट स्पेसिफिक फंक्शंस लेट सी सम एग्जांपल्स लाइक एंटीबायोटिक रेजिस्टेंस कैरी आउट नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन राइजोबियम ऑयल डिग्रेडेशन सुडोमनास दीज आर सम ऑफ द स्पेशलाइज्ड कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स which is provided by the presence of plasmids in a bacterial cell there will be different types of uh, <coughs> plasmids let us see the different types of pla types of plasmids conjugative plasmids mobilizable mobilizable plasmids self transmissible plasmids f factor plasmids r factor plasmids etc like this you have different types of plasmids these are some of the basic uh, information which you need to know in order to understand the microbial genetics hence in this class i have given an overview of type of chromosome or dna and plus plasmids the characteristics in our next class we will be studying one by one the history and development of uh, microbial genetics as per your designs syllabus see you in my next class